Hello and welcome to Taik 18. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about the next Power BI interview question and answers. So before going into that, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So the next is what are the types of the next is what are the types of premium tires available in Power BI. So we all know about the premium capacity and premium per user, right? So this is actually talking about the tires. So it means we have two types. One is EM series and another is P series. EM series which is intended to use with organizational embedding scenarios. And for P series which supports the full array of features and functionality of premium capacity. So if you are an ISV service providers, individual software vendors, then you may prefer to go with E series. I mean embedded series, which you can get with A1, A2, A3, A4 licenses. And for the regular organizations with huge number of users, then they will go for premium capacity, which is P1, P2 and P3 series. What are the difference between Power BI premium EM series and P series? So basically, if you look at in this chat here, the share embedded content to organizational users with Power BI free license via Microsoft Teams, SharePoint Online and custom applications, it's possible in both of them. And share content broadly to organizational users with Power BI free license in the Power BI service portal, that is not possible because embedded is actually only possible to embedded in your, in your application. So you don't have access to Power BI portal for this. That's why it is only possible if you have P premium license, P series. So additional features such as paginated report, XML endpoints, full data flow features, etc. And use of Power BI report server, this is optional. Everything is possible only in P series. So what are the types of virtual course? known as V course in premium. So basically when it comes to premium licenses, we have P1, P2, P3, P4 and P5. So it contains the course. So what does it actually means? So basically in premium gen 2, we have two cores, which is a backend course and the front end course. The, the backend course, which handles query processing, data set refresh, natural language processing like QA and other data related activities like report rendering, cache management, that is active data set load to memory is also handled on the back end V course. So what about the front end course? So which are responsible for web service and user experience tasks such as document management, access rights management, APIs, uploads and downloads are also handled by the front end course. So here if you look at this one, the majority of the work is being handled by the back end course like interacting with the reports and the refresh management, everything has happened at the backend course. So the next is data set with an incremental refresh policy to get the latest data in real time with direct query can only be published to a dash workspace. It's only possible in Power BI Premium workspace. The incremental refresh is possible in Power BI Pro, but to get the data with the direct query features, that's a recently introduced one. It's only possible if you have the premium workspace. And the next is what is query caching in Power BI? So query caching is only available in Power BI Premium or Power BI Embedded for import data set. It is not applicable for direct query or live connected data sets, leveraging Azure analysis services or SQL server analysis services. So the caching is performed the first time a user opens the report. At present, the service only does query caching for the initial page that they land on. In other words, queries aren't cached when you interact with the report. Cache queries results are specific to a user and data set context and all Always respect security rules. The query cache respect personal bookmarks and precision filters. So queries generated by a personalized report will be cached. So make sure 
to understand this query caching is only applicable for imported asset and also it should be in power bi premium or embedded thing if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video